This is the last episode of this pedal drive concept. In the last few weeks, I've been updating and testing the drive. At this point, I would say the idea works. I need to come up with a better implementation to make this pedal drive more practical and more efficient. In my first design, I have the fins overlapping issue. The right fin worked well, but the left one sometimes flipped in the opposite direction and jammed the right pedal. I believe I can fix that problem by adding the stop push to prevent that from happening again. I have also modified the hinge of the fin, so it will not have so much freedom of movement. I tried this second design. The current is so much slower than the test I have last time, and the boat when traveling with the current, it seems to be working fine. As you can see in this video, I have also fixed the fin overlapping issue and the pedaling was also very smooth. But then I have another problem. I could feel the thrust every time I pushed the arms. But when the boat was at the calmer part of the river and it seemed to be only going in a circle, I was sitting at the middle of the river and puzzling why. My theory is the fins not only drive the boat, but they also create a rudder effect. Say when the left fin pushes water backward, the right fin becomes the rudder. Unfortunately, this right rudder is not stationary, but moving continuously and create excessive turbulence causing the boat to move in an unpredictable direction. I wonder how come the ducks can swim so gracefully with two pedals. My observation, which may not be correct, is the spacing of the ducks' feet are relatively further apart than my implementation. It is very similar to how we pedal our kayak. In my design, I cannot place both fins further apart. To solve this problem, I go with this new change. So I pack up everything and ready to give my pedal drive concept a last try. And this is the latest update. I combined the fins into a single one. And hopefully it will work. If not, then I will stop doing any further testing or development. If the concept really works, then I will refine it to make it much, much better. This is what I come up with, and this is the third update to my design. Maybe third times the charm. I use a single pedal, but with a larger surface to push the water. Thanks to Beaver Nation's input, I cut one layer of the coral plist and use only a single layer for the living hinge. This provides less resistance when the hinge rotates. The installation of the drive is same as my Rev2, which is very simple and easy. I'm still using the pulley system, therefore I have to tie the rope around the arm of one of the pedals. With the first few pedaling strokes, I could tell I got it this time. Yes, it is not very fast because the prototype is not very efficient. There are many things I can do to improve the efficiency of this design. I should add a few more stoppers to prevent the fins from bending backward when pedaling. The pedaling arms can be replaced with a thin and stronger aluminum extrusion U-shaped channel. I can also replace the fins with thinner material. I should add the bicycle pedals so that it will be more comfortable to use. I have to investigate on how to design a more reliable and stable pivot for the arms. If you have other suggestions, please let me know. 
If you find this reading interesting, please give me a like. I appreciate if you will support me by subscribing to my channel also. I will have more interesting ideas and videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.